What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see behind me, I have the G80M3 and we're finally gonna start working on this car again. I have a whole bunch of mods sitting waiting for it. So today we're gonna be installing one of those mods. Something that I think is gonna make this car look super aggressive, super mean, and super menacing, especially at night. As you guys can see, my G80 is black sapphire metallic, it has super dark window tints. The wheels aren't necessarily black, but they still kind of look black, especially with all that brake dust. And then the front end also looks super aggressive with that CSL style grille, the carbon inlets, and that aggressive front lip. So overall, this thing looks menacing already, but what we're gonna be installing today is gonna make it look even more menacing. You guys can probably already guess what I'm gonna be installing today, but if you haven't already, we're gonna be installing the yellow CSL style DRLs for the G80 M3, which also work on pretty much, I think, every BMW at this point. This isn't a new or revolutionary mod. A lot of people have been doing it on their G80s, but I think having it on a black, already aggressive looking G80 like this is gonna look sick. The yellow DRLs on a black car, I think are like the perfect combination. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, let me just show you really quickly. So it's gonna be hard to see because it is currently daylight, but on these cars, you have these large rings right over here, typical BMW. Anyways, currently they are white, which looks good and clean. However, we're basically gonna be changing those to yellow. Once I have the yellow ones on, I'll take some shots at night so you guys can see what it looks like in the dark where the DRLs are really gonna pop. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. But with that said, guys, let me show you what the mod looks like because it's a little bit of a weird one if you guys aren't used to this stuff. So here it is, guys. Inside this box is what's gonna be changing our DRLs from white to yellow. Now, I did get this from Keys Motorsports, so huge shout out and thank you to them. If you guys want these or any of the tools that I'm gonna be using today, check out the links down in the description below. But with that said, let me just open up this box and show you guys exactly exactly what you get. So inside the box, you're going to get a keys jet tag, which is actually pretty cool. This is my wife's favorite color, so maybe I'll put this on her keys. Besides that, you're gonna get some thermal glue, which I'll explain in a little bit. And then other than that, this is what we mainly care about. So this is going to have the board. So inside your car, you're going to have four heat sinks. So you're gonna have two in the right passenger side, and then you're gonna have two on the left driver's side. Of course, one for each ring. To explain to you guys high level what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to take out the heat sinks from the car, heat up the heat sink, and then take off the OEM board from the car. So once we take off the OEM one, we're gonna put some glue, this thermal glue specifically, on the backs of these ones, stick them in, plug them back into the car, and put the heat sink back on. But with that said, let me show you guys where you can find the first heat sink. There's two that you can easily access from just opening up the hood, and then there's two that you have to access from taking off the wheels. So let's start off with the easy ones, and then we'll get to the more difficult ones. So once you open up the hood, you're gonna see the heat sinks right over here. So you have one for the driver's side. Now this is gonna connect to this ring, in here and then you're gonna have another one for the passenger side and then this one is gonna connect to this ring right over here so to take these off there's only two t20s holding them in uh, after that there's like a connection so we're gonna lift it up disconnect the one connection and then we should be able to take all this out So as you guys saw from those clips, I finished installing the yellow DRLs on the inner rings. I didn't do the outside yet. I did film the driver's side on camera, but then I went ahead and did the passenger side off camera. So here it is guys, you can see over here, we now have the yellow DRL and this one is still the white. So again, I did it on the driver's side and I also did it on the passenger side, which you can actually see better because it's not as in the sun. So this does look really good. Obviously it's gonna look a lot better at night but it still does look cool during the day. So with that said, guys, we're gonna get to installing the other side, which is gonna be a little more involved. So in order to do those outer rings, we have to reach the heat sinks, which are inside the car somewhere over here. So to do that, we're gonna have to remove the wheel. We're gonna have to remove the fender liner inside. And then of course, the same process, two T20s to remove the heat sink, and then we're just gonna have to heat up the heat sink, remove the OEM board, and then put on the new one. <laughs> So I took off the wheel and I took off the fender liner. There's just a whole bunch of 10 mils holding it in. But anyways, now with all that out of the way, you guys can see 
the heat sink right over here. It looks similar to the other ones, but not exactly the same. But like the other ones, this is gonna have two T20s holding it in. So I believe this is one of them right over here. And then the other one, not sure if you guys are able to see that, but it's like right by where my finger is. So both of these are gonna be really hard to reach. You can't really get a ratchet or what I've been using, a Torx screwdriver because it's magnetic. But what I'm gonna use is this little thumb driver, which hopefully should be small enough that I can get it in there and hopefully remove those T20s. So before I go ahead and reinstall this back into the car, I just want to tell you guys a few things. One, this one is a lot more difficult than the other. As you guys can see, it's kind of wrapped around this metal piece, so it's hard to get something in there to leverage and get it out. Also, I did obviously end up getting it out, but the camera kind of died on me, so I went ahead and grabbed more batteries. But to let you guys know how I ended up getting it out, I actually heated it up one more time, and then I ended up using the screwdriver right over here, the flathead. As you can tell, the blade broke a few times, the pick tool wasn't doing it. I tried a few different things just so I can get some leverage, but in the end, I heated up one more time and the flathead did the job. So now in terms of reinstallation, obviously these are gonna use the bigger boards. There's also three prongs, if you guys can see that. So in terms of lining this up, it should be pretty easy because these prongs are gonna guide you so you can't even possibly do it the wrong way. Now in terms of removing this, because I didn't talk about that yet as well, getting anything in there to remove it was really tough. So what I ended up doing is using some pliers and a T20 just so I can loosen it enough and then the rest I just did it with my hand. Now we can go ahead and reinstall this into the car and then the passenger side should be completely done. The driver's side, I'll just go ahead and finish off camera and I'll update you guys if there's anything new. So as you saw from those clips, I finished up the passenger side, yellow DRLs. I also went ahead and did the driver side off camera. The process went pretty much the same way. Of course, now that I just went through that learning curve, it was a little quicker. So with that said, let me just flip the camera around and I'll show you. Now just fair warning, it did rain, so it's actually a few hours later. I had to wait for the rain to calm down. So the car is soaked. There's literally lightning right now, so I'm gonna try to keep this quick so it doesn't rain on me again. But anyways, here is the M3. Now at the full yellow. DRLs and I gotta say guys these things look absolutely sick I don't know if the camera is doing them any justice but in person they look amazing here is a look at the other side looks just as good again I don't know if the camera is doing it justice because when I step back I feel like you don't really get the same effect in person the light is a lot more potent and a lot stronger like it's a lot more yellow but overall guys these things look insane the car looks so menacing the grill the lip the black car and now with these like demon looking yellow eyes i absolutely love the way that these look and again i'm looking at it on camera and i'm looking at it in person the camera is not doing it justice but man this looks sick so again huge shout out and thank you to keys motorsports for sending these out to me installation overall was not too bad it was a little bit tedious and a little bit painful especially getting off the oem boards but otherwise it really wasn't that bad and the final product looks absolutely amazing but now that we have yellow drls on this black car should we do some other yellow accents? Like right now I have red brake calipers, so I don't know, maybe yellow? I think that looked pretty cool on a black car with yellow DRLs, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Anyways guys, before I wrap up this video, I did promise I'll show you guys what this looks like when it's completely dark. Now it is around like 5 p.m. right now, so it's pretty dark, and since it's overcast, you guys can actually get a decent look at it. But let me just come back later, film the car at night. I'll just toss those clips in right now just so you can see what it looks like. But that's pretty much it. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop it a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot more than you think. Again, if you want any of this stuff, including the tools, links down in the description below. But with that said, this video is pretty much done. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.